Okay, so we're going to do um, goniometric measurements for cervical flexion and extension, both of which occur in the sagittal plane and have a firm end feel. So the patient is um, sitting in a chair, feet are flat on the ground and supported, and her back is supported by the back of the chair. I need to be next to the patient so I can use my goniometer in the right plane. We're going to do cervical flexion first, and the normal value for that is... 50 degrees, 0 to 50 degrees. Um, the instructions that I want to give my patient are to bring your chin to your chest. So I'm going to have her bring her, chest, her chin all the way down to her chest. The fulcrum of the goniometer goes right over the external auditory meatus. The stationary arm is going to be perpendicular to the ground. And the moving arm, so it starts at 90, that's where I'm going to read from. You can stay right where you are. Are you okay there? Yes. Okay. And the moving arm comes down and it aligns with the base of the nares. You can take a little break. And then I read from where I started here at 90 degrees down to here, and that's my measurement. Then we're going to do cervical extension. The normal value for cervical extension is 0 to 60 degrees. So the instructions to the patient are going to be, can you bring your eyes and head up to the ceiling as far as you can? And all of my alignments stay exactly the same. So the fulcrum goes over the external auditory meatus. The stationary arm is perpendicular to the ground, and the moving arm started here at 90, where the base of her nares were originally, and then I move them up so that they're in line with the base of the nares, and I read this number here. 